Okay, we are in Tb Tb Tbilisi, <laughs> Georgia. I'm still learning how to pronounce the name of the city, capital city. And um, this is our entrance to our Airbnb to be rented for the first five days until we decide on where it is that we want to, s to live. So we were able to get a year visa upon arrival. So we'll probably be here for maybe six months. This Airbnb is really nice. It's a total of three units. We are on the second floor. But these set of stairs lead up to the third unit. Okay. Um, it's a lot of unique things about this Airbnb. First being these massive doors. I love the hardwood floors. It's twenty-one, twenty dollars per night that we're currently paying. Granted, we get able to get a discount, but um, these hardwood floors. Oh my goodness! It is massive. Flat screen TV, and look at that exposed wall. Uh, crown molding. And, uh, this is the living room. Of course we found this on Airbnb. That young lady over there did all of the research. <laughs> um, there are so many to choose from. Yeah. We actually have a kitchen. I'm going to get from the ceiling. Check that out. It's all modern. It's a little step up section full-size refrigerator. We love this place. I enjoy the hardwood floors. The sofa is super comfortable. It's big enough for me. I'm six feet four inches. Uh, modern stove. We actually have a microwave. Stainless steel microwave. Have a toaster, which I haven't seen in a while. And a window in the kitchen for natural light and let's not forget the air con that provides AC and heat check out this exposed brick it's not even a brick I guess it's wood I don't know what they did but it's so cool okay let's go into the bathroom oh that's the heating unit keeps us warm counter space I love the way the lights are hung it's a clock a lot of nice features about this apartment. What do you like most about this apartment, hon? It's spacious and the bed is comfortable. The balcony is huge. Oh, I forgot about the, the balcony. Fast. Super fast. The fastest yeah. that we've experienced in a long yeah, time. A <laughs> yeah. That couch is just so comfortable. The ceilings are so tall. Oh, it's definitely 10, 10 foot. Tall, ten feet. Was it ten foot or ten feet tall ceilings? Ten foot tall. Ten no, foot. Baby, those are more than ten. You're okay. Six, I am. Look those at that. Get the massive door. Yeah. I'm what? Five, five, two and a half. Uh huh. I mean, that's a twelve foot ceiling. Yeah. Okay, you're right. And that also, that's our bedroom over there. And the go in the double. French doors, we're gonna head in there in a sec. Alright, off, let's head to the bathroom. I mean, natural light coming out from this window. And here's our bathroom, it's unique. Um, top floors. It's like a step up. <laughs> we get, <coughs> helps you get into the shower slash tub. Oh, we have a washer as well. So that's the toilet. It's super clean. Um, and a window. When you, you know, you do the nasty, <laughs> you let some fresh air in to get that odor out. <laughs> but that's so cool. I'm trying to get this. So cool. Only $20 per night. We are in walking distance from, was it the city center? What's the name of that one? Freedom Square. Freedom Square, I have a washer in the bathroom. Um, 
We are, I'd say, less than 10 minutes. We, we can walk to Freedom Square. Yeah. Uh, one more shot of the bathroom. Yeah, for $20 a night. This is what you can... Oh, look at that. Oh, I almost dropped my phone. Can't have that happen. Let that happen. Okay. Oh, I'm really enjoying this space. Okay, so here's our bedroom. Oh, this, our unit is across the street from the Common Courthouse. Um, Telebesies. Common. Check out the wall. That is so interesting. Oh, that is exposed. Okay, so. The hardwood, real hardwood floors. It is a washer and dryer. Okay, so in the bathroom, it's a washer and dryer combo. Okay. It's a chest. There we hang our clothes, and there's a mirror. <laughs> and there's like a built in bookshelf with storage room. Actually, I'm storing my clothes there. And. The bed is so comfortable. Fucking super comfortable. And then all the natural light comes in from right off of our balcony. Oh, that's the heat in the unit. And also, like I pointed out before, mentioned before, the AC is both a combo heat and cold. Okay, ready? Here's our balcony. There's a cold front for the next few days, so it's a mess. I'm going to the other side of the balcony. Yeah. Table, I'm gonna be out here later. A glass of wine and smoke my e cig, which is legal here in Georgia. And that is the courthouse there. All right, and um, it's our bedroom. I'm really excited, I'm very happy. I woke up with a smile on my face this morning. Uh, so, it's our first place. Stay here for a week. Oh, we scout other places to move into and um, $20 a night everything that we've seen or watched on YouTube with regards to what you can expect and the cost of living has been spot on now, granted we've been here a couple of hours after a 20 hour flight from Bangalore to New Delhi New Delhi to Kazakhstan oh Kazakhstan is beautiful we're actually at some point gonna go and hang out in Kazakhstan. Let's give you one more. And then to Georgia. Alright, ladies, happy travels. Oh, I gotta plug her blog, which is gonna be on this, I'm not gonna say. Yeah. I noticed it was snowing outside. So third day in Georgia and it is snowing. Um, there's just a simple forecast that it said it was going there was be a, there was going to be a cold front, but now it is snowing. And the funny thing is, all my snow gear, my winter gear that I bought for Beijing back in December, I either sold or I got rid of. So I only have uh, my base layer. I don't have any pants, I pretty much have shorts and like winter clothes. So am I prepared for this? Not really. I don't really have a winter jacket. My girlfriend has one, but I don't because I thought, hey, I'm probably not gonna see 
experience of winter weather for quite some time. But a lot has changed with the current pandemic, with the coronavirus worldwide, so we had to adjust our plans. And now I am supposed to be, at this time, in Nepal, hiking the Annapurna circuit, but uh, instead we are in Georgia, Tbilisi, Tbilisi, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, I'm still working on correct pronunciation for the capital city, but yeah, it's snowing. Right, it looks beautiful. My girlfriend loves the winter, well, as long as she can snowboard or ski, but I think she's super hot in her winter gear, so I get to see her in some more winter gear. She has winter gear, winter cold, more or less. She has way more winter gear than I do, but um, maybe I'm going to stay indoors for a while. If not, I'm probably going to go and get a buy a winter jacket, which I really didn't want to do. But considering that we're going to be in, I have plans to be in Georgia for 6 to 12 months. While we're continuing traveling, it'll be home base. I guess that wouldn't be a bad idea to get, <laughs> to buy winter coat and pants. I literally do not have any, um pants. I have about three or four pairs of shorts, three pairs of basketball shorts, and uh, the fourth pair is just a jean shorts that I was hoping to wear. Um, I'm also happy that while I was, we were still in India, um, Bangalore, I, in preparation for the air yeah, for Nepal, I bought hiking boots, so I'm I'm, I'm okay with and I'm okay for the winter in terms of like hiking boots, but anyhow, it's snowing. Wow. It did not snow while we were in Beijing, but it was definitely cold. It's winter. But, uh, okay. I'm literally standing in my underwear. In my underwear. I was just working. I got up early this morning to work. Been up since five, so I'm thinking it started snowing maybe an hour or two ago. Judging from the accumulation of snow on the cars. All right. My life is interesting, and I like that. 